in our talent open studio so in this video we are going to create a temporary file and write some data into this file so what uh, kind of steps we are going to follow here first of all we are going to create a temporary file in the default system temporary directory and then we are going to write some data into this file and then display the data in the file on the console okay so guys we are going to use the following talent component first one the create temporary file uh, this will this component is helpful to provide a facility to create a temporary file in a defined location then tjava tjava component is useful whenever you want to write some custom codes then tro generator tro generator is a useful component if you want to generate some dynamic data then you can use it then t file output delimited if you want to uh, this is the important uh, component because this component is going to be generated at temp temporary file in a defined location t file input delimited this component is used to be pull the data from t row generator as a t file input delimited and t logs row this component is useful whenever you want to display the data in the uh, file on the console so guys we are going to our talent open studio and there we are going to create a new job like create temp file with data data okay so we have created this file uh, this job now we have a we have a blank job so first of all we are going to call our first component that is t create temporary file so here t create temporary file creates a temporary file okay now we have okay, now double click on it now go to the settings in basic settings first of all if you want to remove the file when execution is over then it will automatically remove from the disk but uh, for the demo purpose we want to see the file so i am just uncheck it then use default temporary system directory if you want a default system directory then you can use it but uh, we are going to change it and here i am going to my pc in pc i am going to my e drive e drive there is a folder yeah so okay i have been selected this folder now this is a directory path where the file is going to be created now in template so you can change the file name like employee talent amp please keep in mind double x double x is the prefix for the temporary file then the extension so we are going to use txt okay this these are the basic settings for t create temporary file so we are going to 
how you can see this is the path where the temporary file will be created now we want to so the system default system directory path and the user define directory path so we are going to use the java component to write some custom code in the t create temporary right click on it in triggers you can see there is a option like on sub job ok on sub job error run if on component ok on component error so we are going to use on sub job ok and double click on t java and here we are going to write some codes like system actually we want to show the print we are going to show the outdoor print okay and we are saying that default system going to add plus system system dot get property yeah. here you can see we are going to use system get property string so in string section what we are going to pass we are going to run this job now now you can see this is the temporary system directory location now I want to see the directory which we have provided uh, in this section now you can see this is the path so we want to use this path so we are going to use this and paste it over here okay now we are going to remove this okay and run my job Here you can see this is the default system directory and this is a temp file directory which we have provided in our tcreate file tcreate temporary file. Now we are going to use another component to generate some data. So we are going to use t row generator. Okay, now here what we are going to do we are going to use it as a main first of all we have to generate some rows in it ok so here we are going to generate some, some columns and that would be dynamic to write in the files so we are going to add some column in this 
are going to connect our T Java component to T row generator. So we are going to choose triggers and choose on subject. Okay. Now T row generator. Okay. You can see it is blank. So first of all, we are going to create some schema like ID. and data type is integer then another column f name another column l name ok click on ok button now here we can go to the zero generator so in this you can see these are the functions so first of all in the functions we are going to choose numeric sequence and okay in sequence we are going to start from 100 then for the f name we are going to use talent data generator dot get first name and for the last name I we are going to use talent data generator get last name okay now this is the preview now we have the data and click on ok button now we are going to use t file output delimited and connect it with the t row generator as a main ok now click on T file output delimited here there are the basic settings for the file name we have to remove it and provide the name from the T create temporary file in the outlines click on T file a uh, file path then ok now file fill separator should be comma and include header also and you can see the edit schema ok now we are in the advanced settings we are going to create directory if it does not exist and there is another column that throw an error if the file already exists so we are going to uncheck it and now we are going to run our job now go to the directory path here you can see a new file has been created ok here you can see the data ok so first of all now uh, in the console so here we are going to use another component that is t file input delimited and here what we are going to do we are going to connect our t row generator to t okay and in the settings just say remove this from here and Paste get it from T create temporary file and file path. Okay, and fill separator is our comma. Then header should be in first row. Okay, now we are going to run this job. Okay. now you can see ok in the files you can see there is another file has been created now we want to so display the data to display the data we are going to use t log component t log row component and connect our t file input delimited to t row t log row so
पर टी फाइल इनपुट डेलिमिटेड going to use table and in the edit schema you can see the schema okay and for the t file input you can see the schema if schema is not available then you have to create it manually so we are going to run this job now now you can see these are the columns which is generated by t row generator and in t row generator you can set the column limit also okay so we are going to rerun our job now you can see okay so in t log there are settings where you can in basic setting if you want to see the data in this format then you can do that okay so guys uh, here we have used Uh, T row generator to generate some dynamic data, but in real scenario you can use any other component uh, to get the data from any sources. Like if you want to get a temporary file to get the data from SQL Server, from NoSQL, from Azure, or from any other file. So you can do that. So here. First of all, you can see these are temporary files which have been generated. So we are going to remove this now. In T create temp temporary file, we are going to check the more files when execution is over. Now you can see these row has been generated, but in the file folder there is no file because this file has been removed after execution. so one thing i uh, you have to take care of it now t file output delimiter the file name we are using the the file path which is we have set in t create temporary file for the same t file input delimited we are using the same file path you can see we are getting it so guys it is very easy to create a temporary file and fill some data into this file by using talent open studio so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon because it will give you an alert whenever i am going to upload any new video related to talent ssrs sql server azure python ssis thank you for watching us